Hello everyone, today I'm doing a makeup declutter video. Um, I was going to wait till mid-year, but I think I want to get rid of my things now, so I'm going to film it now. So I'm going to start off with my face primers. I'm just going to kind of take them out. Alright, so these are my face primers up here. Um, I do want to keep the NYX Away We Glow. I've been trying to pan this forever, um, and I still like it, so I'm going to keep that. This is a Cover FX Hydrating Skin Primer, Dewy Skin Primer. I haven't really used it as much as I thought I would this winter, so I'm going to get rid of this. Maybe somebody else can get some use out of it. This one over here. This is the Clarins SOS Primer. I like it to help even out redness in my skin. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep this one. This is Milani Soft Focus Glow. It's really full and I haven't used much of it. It is nice, but I prefer these other ones. So I'm going to declutter this one. And this is my Laura Mercier Foundation Primer in Radiance. And uh, I think this is my favorite one. So I'm going to keep this, these three for primer. And then I have powders on the side here. I have, I feel like I'm missing a powder. Yeah, I'm missing a powder. This is the Dior Powder Foundation. I'm gonna keep this one because I do want to use it up because it was so expensive, but I still like it. So I don't want to like get rid of it. I'm going to keep that one. The Maybelline Superstay Powder Foundation in Porcelain. I'm gonna keep this one as well. The Physician's Formula Mineral Powder. This one cracked. Um, I like how the texture and everything. I just don't like how it wears with my other products. I'm going to declutter this one. And then this is my Essence High Beauty. What does it say here? Hemp Seed Oil Matte Finish Powder. And I used to like because it's green, so it's good for redness in the skin, and it's very thin. It's a very thin formula. Sorry about the blinding. It's a very thin formula, so I am going to keep that one. And I think I'm missing one. Yeah, this one. My Cagando Loose Powder. I barely touched it. I really should get rid of this, but I'm still like, oh, what if I need a powder? Like, what if I need a loose powder, right? So that's the only reason I'm keeping it. Maybe it'll go in the next declutter. I don't know. But for now, I'm keeping it. So I'm just going to get rid of the one. That's it. I'll do my eye products while I'm here, too. I might as well. Um, but let me do these. Oh, these are some... These are some Laura Geller Depotted um, Color Correcting Creams. I'm going to keep them. <laughs> so... Let's put that back there. And keeping my really still color correctors that I haven't finished yet, that I'm trying to pan. I'm going to keep my e.l.f. concealer. I think this is Fair Warm. Let me see. Yeah, this is shade Fair Warm, which is, for some reason, light for me, which is never an issue. It, this has never been an issue. Everything's usually too dark. But for some reason, this concealer is so light. Look at this how light it is but yeah i'm gonna keep that i'm still mixing it with the josie marin argan concealer and medium so I'm, i am keeping all of these let's put them tuck them back in here and then my foundations are on the side okay. i got everything here number seven protect and perfect advanced all-in-one foundation this is the anti-aging one i'm keeping this like that one this one is the one i'm wearing right now because my skin is super dry and I can't handle foundation right now. I'm wearing La Beige's tint. And this is the lightest shade. I think this is in shade light. So I'm keeping that. And the Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer. I was thinking of getting rid of this, but um, I'm going to just play with it a little more. So I'm going to keep it for now. And these, I'm trying to pan that. But and my skin is so dry, even for the moisture foundation right now. 
but I do want to finish. I am actually, I'm going to keep all my foundations. So I'm not getting rid of anything here. I'm going to my eyeliners. These are just like sharpeners and random tools. I think I have a couple of back to Mac in here. I'll just go through these real quick. These back to Mac ones. Uh, my mother declared these back to me from who knows when, but I'm not going to use them. So I'm just going to give them back to Mac. I think that is Russian red. And this is plumful. But yeah, I'm not going to. I don't know if I'm going to back to I don't know. I'm going to get rid of these, though. These are going. They, they just happen to be in this drawer for some reason. And this Rubenesque cream shadow that is, I'm sure, expired. Yeah, this is all. I'm getting rid of it. I'm just gonna just keep it. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let me let me take it out because I'm gonna get confused. Let's take all of this out. There. So okay, these are your sharpeners. Um, and I'm keeping my Evian. This is what I use as a face mist because I'm allergic to most face mists. So I want to try the uh, Tatcha one though <laughs> someday. Okay, so let me do liners. Even though this is going to be mostly the face declutter, but I'm just going to include liners because they're up here already. So this pink Sephora one, this is a waterproof eyeliner. What's the name of this? Romantic comedy. I don't even think they make this anymore. It's a pretty color. I haven't worn it, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Um, this one is... Lavender Fields. I do like wearing this. I haven't in a while, but I'm going to give it a try. So I I like to use this like on my lower lash line. It's like a purpley silver shade. So I'm going to keep that. This is the Scandalized from Rimmel. This is the Shimmering Black shade. Sparkling Black, it's called. I, I hardly wear it, but I'm going to keep it because I want to wear it at some point. This is what I wear most every day. Every time I do my makeup, I wear Physicians Formula eyeliner. Um, this is a lash booster in deep brown. I think it's the lash booster. It doesn't say it on it, but it is. Yeah, it does. Lash booster. Oh, eye booster. It says. Um, yeah, deep brown. I just like it because it's an inexpensive um, eyeliner. It's probably like. $12 or something compared to like Kat Von D and Stila and all these other ones. And is this waterproof? I don't know if it is. Hold on. Ultra fine liquid eyeliner. It doesn't say waterproof, but it is does wear all day for me anyway. So um, yeah, definitely keeping that because that's what I wear most of the time. I wear this one a lot too. This is the double ended Tartiest. It's already fading there liquid and pencil eyeliner. I'm just trying to pan the liquid side. It seems to last forever. <laughs> I'm still using it. The pencil side, I don't think I'm going to use, but I'm going to keep it because I, I used the, this side. And I do have a backup for the black eyeliner, even though I don't wear black as often as the brown. I have the tattoo liner in, um, I think this is Mad Max. Let me see. No, <laughs> Mad Max is the brown. This is in Trooper, uh, Trooper black from kvd oh no whatever um yeah so this is my backup it's actually unopened i have it and unused so i hope it doesn't dry out by the time i get to it that would be sad but yeah i have that there i think that came in a set or something so that's why i have the backup this is flirting game i think this is yeah from sephora i like this again for my lower lash line it's like a very pale taupe with shimmer i'm gonna keep that one even though i haven't worn it much lately i'm gonna keep that this i mean i feel so bad about this this is another rimmel scandal eyes i don't know why it says brow but whatever it's a blue it's a very pretty blue i just don't wear it and i'm not gonna hold on to it any longer i'm gonna declutter it this time even though it's pretty and uh I would have liked to, you know, have worn it, like my fantasy self or whatever. This is the gold one. I can't even read the name. Uh, it faded, <laughs> but they're still pretty good. They function perfectly. 
Uh, it is a nice pale gold. I wish it was lighter, but um, I it, I can wear it. It just I don't know. I haven't really worn this. I'm not gonna wear this. I feel like it's dark. You see that? That's not gonna really highlight much. Yeah, I'm gonna declutter the gold one as well. And I think I paid. I feel like I paid full price for that. Ugh, anyway, this is the nude liner for the inner for the waterline. Sometimes I like that look, so I am going to keep that. And this is the Dior, another one I feel bad about because I haven't worn it enough. Pearly bronze. Um, it's a pretty liquid bronze color. I want to finish this really, but I don't know if I'm going to finish it, but I'm going to keep it. I really like this line, these onstage liners, but I can't get any more because I need to use what I have before I think about venturing out to the other colors <laughs> this one is what is this called i don't know it's a metallic green shade and the name's not on here and i always forget what the name is so i don't know they made a mistake or something and they just yeah they made a mistake and they didn't put the name um, probably pearly emeralds is my guess for the name of this, but it's a green one. I will never try it out. Hold on. Cause it's not that old, but I feel like last time I used it, it was hard to get. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's still okay. I'm going to hold on to that. I hope it doesn't dry out. Those usually last me a long time before drying out. And another Rimmel Scandal Eyes, this is a regular black. And it's waterproof, so I will be keeping that as well, even though I never wear it. But one day I might want to wear a black waterproof pencil liner. So I'm going to keep it for now. <laughs> the bad thing is that I feel like I have a backup of this somewhere. Oh, anyway, I'm gonna just I'm gonna keep that. Okay. Mascara. I have voluminous from L'Oreal. I think it's his shade black. Oh, yeah, his shade black noir. Uh, I'm gonna keep it. It's it's new. It's okay. It smears a little bit. Ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna get the Finifils next time. Um, because that's my favorite mascara from Lancome. And I think I also liked the Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. So if I get another L'Oreal one, I think I'm gonna get the Lash Paradise one again instead of this so the pink one uh and the pink packaging i mean um otherwise i'm going to get the finicils it's just i didn't want to pay 20 whatever dollars for the definicils twice the price of this i think so yeah, i'm going to keep that way too many primers so originally i had these two primers at the start of the year the nyx glitter primer and the lorac behind the scenes which i'm trying to pan so i do like these i'm keeping those my mother decluttered these two me she didn't use them the anti-aging and the regular urban decay primer potion um i do want to keep all of these so i'm not going to get rid of any primers and then brow pencils i have the elf brow pencil i think i had this for like a drugstore option but let me see if i'm actually going to wear it let me you see the color again um yeah so good i might wear it if i don't want to like carry like if i have to travel with it and i don't want to carry the other one maybe i will use it for that and then i have the ash brown from anastasia anastasia however you say the name uh it's a slanted tip um i like this one a lot this is the one i'm wearing most of the time now uh, it is a perfect shade for me so I'm keeping that and then this is the Chanel Brun Profund 810. It's actually the same as the Anastasia as far as the packaging and everything, but formula is different. I prefer the Anastasia one to this, but this one's still pretty good. And the shade on this slightly warmer than the other one. That's another reason why I prefer the other one. So the other one's cooler tone. And then I have three ancient brow powders that you buy once in your life because you never get through them this is kvd dark brown this is the one with the shimmer which i still like a lot so i'm gonna keep that i haven't worn it in a while but 
Plus the packaging is very cute. The ash brown and the duo powder here from Anastasia again. Um, I mostly wear this side here. I'm gonna keep it. Th my this part is breaking off. That sucks. Okay, and then the pomade from Anastasia again, ash brown. It's dried out, but it still works. So I'm gonna keep it. When it like when I go to use it and I can't, then I'll get rid of it. But those things are expensive. I'm gonna keep. <laughs> That's me rationalizing, but like it, it doesn't explain the other stuff that I have. But okay, so I'm gonna keep all these primers, my mascara, and my liners, and let me fix this because the OCD is kicking in here. Uh, and then so I'm getting rid of these on top. Put my little mirror back in here. So yeah, I'm getting rid of those up there. I know some random lipsticks happen to <laughs> join us here. Oh, this is lips. I'm gonna do lips after I do face. So I'm actually gonna go into my blushes and blush powder. Some brushes over here. The NARS, what is this? Exposed palette. I'll just show it to you, but I'm not getting rid of it because I like the finish it leaves on the skin. Yeah, so I'm going to keep that. I got this one pre-owned on uh, Mercari. And this one as well. Barely use these. Barely, barely, barely. I'm going to keep the Becca and Chrissy Teigen. Oops. <laughs> Almost dropped that. I'm going to keep the Becca and Chrissy Teigen collaboration that from ancient 10 billion years ago. They still work. I'm going to keep that. This, uh, I hope this doesn't go bad. I got this pre on the Mercari too. Um, and I barely used it. But I'm going to keep it because I like it. And I hope I get use out of it someday. NARS Basic Instincts 1. I'm keeping that one. Am I getting rid of any of these? I don't think I'm going to get rid of any of these. This is was recently on sale from Natasha Denona, Love Cheek Duo. I'm like a little kid with the packaging, so I'm going to keep it. <laughs> it's terrible. This, and even I could get rid of this because this is like the cheapest one, but I kind of like it <laughs> from uh, BH Cosmetics, Greece. I just, I don't know what it is about it. These, they actually show up lighter than what they look like, so I can wear them on my skin. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep all my face palettes. I'm not gonna touch those. I don't know why I put them in the declutter pile, but they're gonna go back in. Actually, you know what? Let me just throw them back in here. I'm gonna keep them. Oh, I see, because I couldn't reach the back till then. Lancome, what is this called? Mocha Havana. I don't know how I feel about this. I haven't really given it a chance. I'm going to keep that. These are new. I'm going to keep Miel Glacé, also from Lancome. And the French blush. I'm also going to keep for now from Lancome. These are all pretty new. MAC Warm Soul I'm going to keep. I do like this one. This one I, I wear a lot. <laughs> You're not going to tell I wear it a lot, but I do like it. I'm going to keep that. Uh, my mother decluttered this back to me. I decluttered this in my last blush declutter. And then when she gave it back to me, I was like, I tried it on and I'm like, I'm going to keep it. I just like how it feels. This is Visible Lift from L'Oreal in pink. I think it's the shade. Rose pink or something. Yeah, I'm going to keep that. She also decluttered to me this Hourglass Powder and Incandescent Electra. I, I decluttered this to her. I don't know when, but I still like it. I'm just going to, I'm going to keep it. I don't even know if that's how it looked like when I gave it to her, but 
Jordana Coral Radiance. They don't make this anymore, and it's nostalgic, and I like the color. I'm going to keep that. L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted in Fantastical. I'm going to keep that as well. And then um, Milani, what is this called? Coral Cove. I'm going to keep forever or until I drop it. <laughs> Physician's Formula, some stiletto blush I got from Mercari. This smells like vanilla. Just because it was nostalgic and I'm going to keep it. <laughs> My mom decluttered this back to me from who knows when in Radiant Magenta. And I'm going to keep it for now. See if I use it. If I don't, then I'll get rid of it in the next one. Oh, this is one of my favorite ones. This is the L'Oreal Runway Limited Edition Blush in Empress, I think it is. The Empress Blush. I do like this. It's a beautiful color. I just hate that it's broken. It makes me not want to keep it. Am I gonna? Am I gonna wear this broken blush? It just it pisses me off, and I want to get rid of it. And then when I swatch it, I'm like, maybe I can deal with the broken top. No, it's gonna piss me off. Hold on. Okay, I think I got it. Damn, I have so many other blushes to be keeping this that's broken. Let me think about that. I don't know. This one from Milk. This is in Quickie. Um, I didn't use it this winter. I thought I would. I mean, still okay. It smells good. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of it. I didn't use it. Um, that's going to go. This is Tiger Lily Queen from Nude Sticks. I think I like the color on this and the texture is very moisturizing. I never wear it. I don't know. I'm going to keep it. Let me see. You know what it is? This is so similar to the ones in my palettes too, but I can't seem to let it go and I don't wear it. Ugh, I hate this. I hate this. I'm going to keep that. Hold on. I'm keeping that. I'm keeping that. Yacht Life from Fenty. Smells like ick, but looks pretty. Did I keep this? These always smell so bad after like a year. It's so pretty on the cheek. Hmm. It's so pretty and easy to use. Let me think about this. I'm not sure. Yacht Life. <clears throat> Hound's tooth from the bomb. This is similar to the one that's broken. Let me see it next to it. <laughs> it's like the same thing. Same thing. Um, this one has a little bit less shimmer than the broken one. Yeah, that one's just going to bother me. I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm going to keep pounds to... I, sh I feel like I should get rid of... This one, too. Um, no. I don't know. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> keep that. Okay. Physician's Formula. Happy Booster Blush in Rose. Um, I hardly wear this one, either. So pretty. Um, it doesn't smell that good anymore. Like the vanilla scent left. But um, I do like it on my cheeks. Even though I have, haven't worn it in forever. I, it's kind of nostalgic. I'm going to keep it. And this one I'm definitely keeping. This is Shiseido or a pink 04. Just a pale wearable pink. Cool tones. I'm keeping my Dior Rosy Glow as well. Yeah. And then NARS Thrill. 
which I never wear and I should declutter, but I can't, so I'm going to keep it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not decluttering much in this section. The pink's there. Yacht Life, am I keeping this? I'm going to keep Yacht Life, I'm not sure. And I'm going to make the difficult decision of getting rid of this because I can't stand the broken lid. I'm going to get rid of the two there. Okay. And no palettes. Um, I'm not getting rid of any palettes. Um, just tuck these guys back where they were. Yeah, I'm keeping way too much blush because I'm not ready to get rid of... I have to get rid of some of these blushes, but I'm going to leave it for... Um, let me lower this a little bit so you can see the collection together. I'm going to think about this and maybe by the middle of the year I can get rid of... I can get rid of something else because I do have too much blush for me um yeah well I got rid of two which was still difficult for me okay so yeah that's it for the blush okay so here yeah, this is where I have problems boy this is bronzers and I guess I'll do those single shadows just because they're in the same drawer too why not um let me lower this so you can see okay so these are cream, oh my gosh, the thing is breaking, cream highlighters over here. Hmm. All right, this is pretty. This is the Milk Supernova, but I haven't really worn it much. So it smells good. I'm going, I'm going to declutter it. I'm not going to, I need to stop. <laughs> Let somebody else get use out of it before it expires. Strobe Light from Milani. I used to mix this with foundation, but I'm too lazy to do that anymore. Let me... They're just sitting there, so... And if I'm not going to use it, I don't want to let it go bad. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this one. The Milani Strobe Light. This is the Champagne Pop Pencil. I like this on my inner I, inner corner sometimes. Though I don't wear it that much. But I'm going to hold on to it. It doesn't take up much space. Oh boy. This is the Champagne Pop Liquid. Is this blurring? Uh, I feel like this is showing blurred. Um... This is the Champagne Pop Highlighter, Liquid Highlighter. I got this one off eBay. I used to have it. I really like it. I'm going to keep it. I do wear that. And then Hourglass, I have two, even though I had one last time. My mom decluttered this back to me that I gave her. I don't know when. So I'm keeping Champagne Flash, which I really want to pan, but probably will never happen. And I am going to keep the one she decluttered back to me called Pink Flash because it just, it's just too pretty on the cheeks to get rid of. So I'm going to keep those. So I have two creams and two, well, one liquid. <clears throat> Actually, there's another cream one back here somewhere that I'll go find it. It's the Wet n Wild Crystal High Highlighter. I like to use this in my inner corner, so I'm going to keep that. This one is, oh my god, what is this called? Zero Six. I don't know the name of this. It's from Dior. They don't put names. Look, the, the top is already loose. It's like breaking. This cheap packaging. This is such a pretty highlighter. So pretty. It's like a blue ish holographic i'm gonna keep it even though i haven't really worn it oh the hoarder in me this is zero zero two <laughs> the pink one as you can see i got rid of my older one before and then i missed it and i got it again but i'm gonna keep it i'm not getting rid of it again 
This one is the Too Faced Blinded by the Light. I really like this one. I'm going to keep it. Keeping my Essence Pure Nude. And I'm keeping my Fenty Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. At least like that side mostly. The subtle side. And I'm keeping Wet n Wild Winter Falls in LA. This one has like a like a greenish tint to it, which I hardly ever wear, but I can't let it go. I let go of a lot of other Wet n Wild highlighters. And I'm keeping um, Halo Effect as well from Wet n Wild. Champagne Pop. This is a mini. I like to wear in the summer. I'm going to keep that one. Oh, uh, this thing. Rose Quartz, I am not going to keep because it's too... I have warm, fair skin, and you would think, yeah, this one, but... I just think it's so... Sorry about the blur. Okay, there you go. It's so boring. I don't know. <laughs> That's going to go. Somebody else can use that. Pearl from Becca. Yes, I'm keeping Pearl. And um, what was the name of this one? Lilac Geode. I'm keeping. I repressed it. It broke. But I like that one. This is a zombie one. Prismatic Amethyst. I call it zombie because it has like a purple tinge to it. Let me see if I can kind of show you. Um, it's similar to the Dior one. Oh, how similar is it? Because the other one, the packaging is breaking, and that's kind of pissing me off already. Let's see. I'm just going to compare it. Oh, I, I just heard the pieces fell. Oh, my God. This is going to bother me so much. Oh, they're so different. They're different. This one has a blue tinge, the one from Dior, and then this is the... The one I say is a zombie one from Becca. <laughs> it's so pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the um I'm gonna get rid of the Becca Prismatic Amethyst because I'm not gonna wear it and <sighs> I need to stop hoarding stuff. I can't just keep swatching it. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this one. Prismatic amethyst. And <clears throat> This clunky thing. This is the Vlada and Smashbox in in Gilded Rose. So pretty. Yeah. Sorry, you can't really see the swatch. Let me see if I can swatch it better. <clears throat> All right, let's see if I can swatch this a little better. Um, right there. My lighting is a little funky because I'm filming it at night and my lights are all over the place. Anyway, this is a bottle one. It's just on my finger there. I can't really swatch it, but um, I'm going to keep it. <laughs> so I'm keeping this clunky packaging. Another clunky packaging from Lancome. Um, this is the, I don't know, some holiday collection with this cheap looking packaging that I thought was going to be nicer. This is the shade. It does not look like this on the skin. It actually looks very subtle on the skin. <laughs> Can't even see it. You saw that? It's just so natural looking. The crumb. Anyway, I'm, I'm not keeping this. I'm going to get rid of this finally. That can go. And then, oh, e.l.f. Brown, sorry, the camera's turned. This is the e.l.f. Um, bronzer, but I use it as highlight. I think this is in shade golden. And I'm going to keep that. Because nostalgia and because I like it. So yeah, I'm just going to get rid of one, two, three, four, five highlighters. Five highlighters, which is a, a, a lot for me to get rid of, actually. I have trouble letting them go, so. That's pretty good, I think. 
Okay, so I'm going to continue to the bronzers and then I'll do the single shadows that are in this drawer too. I'll just move these back. So my the highlighters, well, I think I moved it too far back. <laughs> um, just move you guys over here. All right, bronzer. Uh, I'm going to keep probably all of my bronzers, but I'll just show you some. Should I keep them all? This is Laura Gala in lights. Maybelline City Bronzer in, I think, 110 or whatever the lightest shade is. The number seven in Golden Sands. It's going to be more of a collection, I think. Butter Bronzer in lights. We all know that. And in Sunkist. Is this Sunkist? Yeah. Sunkist. Milk Chocolate Soleil. Oops, I <laughs> just dropped my finger in it. And that's as much use as it's getting lately. Yeah, Milk Chocolate Soleil. Still smells like chocolate. Lorac Tantalizer, which is so difficult to get because they don't make it anymore. And they keep that. I'm keeping the Chanel Le Beige Soleil 10 Bronze Universal because I wanted to pan it. I haven't really used it lately. I've been using the powder ones, but. It's all there. Yeah, I'm going to keep it. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of I'm gonna get rid of these guys. These are the Fenty Almonds Concealer, which I used as bronzer and amber. And I use as contour. Actually, I barely use it. This is the second time owning it. There are the shades. They just, you know, they're magnetic. They just stick together. Oh, I didn't really use them much yeah okay um i'm gonna get rid of these these are creams somebody else can use them i already have this one this thing that's gonna last me 20 years i'm gonna get rid of these two matte monoi butter bronzer from physicians formula it got hard pads had to scrape the top design it has like this perfume smell but it's okay i'm gonna keep it because i like to travel with it um soft focus from milani this is a powder actually i don't know the name it's like a yellowish color i like it as a bronzer it's super smooth like butter i haven't worn it much but uh look i got all faded i'm keeping it <laughs> Dulce de leche from wet and wild i'm going to keep as well i mix these two together to get my color I'm gonna keep that and then um Charlotte Tilbury Film Star, the lightest one in uh the duo in the mini size. Um yeah, so there's another highlighter. I'm gonna keep that. So I'm gonna keep everything here. I'm going to go through my single shadows that I keep in here. I have an extra one from last time because my mother decluttered it back to me. It's for some Shiseido 214 pink cream shadow. It's so pretty. I just, I kept it. I should not have kept it, but I kept it. And then I'm going to, I'm not going to go through everything here, but. Um, I thought about getting rid of this one, but I'm going to keep it for now. I'm going to keep everything. My Lancome's single Mac here, Bobby Brown. I really like this. Uh, Intergalactic, intergalactic from Urban Decay. Yeah, I'm keeping my L'Oreal's, all three. I think I'm keeping all three. These are so nostalgic. I don't know. I'm not ready to get rid of them. I'm gonna keep all three. And then from Tinkerbell, ColourPop. I'm keeping the green and the burgundy shades. Never grow up and straight on till morning. Yes, I think I'm gonna keep this. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it for now. Uh, not gonna worry about that. So yeah, I'm not gonna get rid of. Wait, I see some backup stuff back here. Let me just. Oh, it's just lashes and lash glue. <laughs> back here, um, that I never use, but in case I ever want to, I'm not gonna get rid of them. So they're just gonna live back there, behind my single eyeshadows. 
So yeah, so this drawer is done. Um, and I'm gonna just raise you up so you can see. Just getting rid of, sorry. <laughs> and he's getting rid of the four highlighters, two bronzers and, no, five highlighters, two bronzers and two blushes. So not much. So this is all I'm getting rid of for the face. Um, so like I said, I'm probably gonna split this cause the eyeshadow may take forever. If I can fit it in one video, I'll fit it in one video. But this is what I'm getting rid of from the face, except those random two lipsticks and a couple eyeliners.